What happens when three buffoons give life advice, explore unrealistic situations, and give random topics more thought than they probably deserve? It's the Spitballers Podcast with Andy, Mike, and Jason. Welcome in. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to just go point at one of you or I'm going to take it. Ooh. We'll never know. See, Who gets to be the scat man? And, and here's the deal. If you don't hear it from us, you better be doing it in your that's car right. or in your home or at your work or in your school. Yeah, or that's in what your, you want. At, in your gym, wherever that, you are. Random scats when you have the headphones on. That's, but that's think how about, you mid-rep. Think pick, about pick this. Pick up the ladies. Let's say you're at the gym. <laughs> yes. Let's say you're at the gym and the gentleman doing the power lifts over there with his headphones and just <laughs> right that guy this, yeah that guy over there right. just starts going ski bop boop bop doop the doodle doodle doop you you know you've you got, got a friend a, you've got a friend <laughs> you've got a friend in well, me indeed uh welcome or to the he's Spitballers. watching one of the many video montages from 90s movies that's just the scat man yeah that's true but e- even then you got Was a there, friend you're right yeah you know is there a better montage song in all of the history of film, yes. Then Scatman. Come on, Rocky movies has taken the uh, Eye of the Tiger is the best montage song for sure. That's un- not debatable. No, nah, man, it's it's, it's got to be. You're saying the Scatman yes. is a better montage than the montage song of yes. the Eye of the Tiger. Yes, totally. It, it it's well rounded. It can go into so many different types of movies. Eye of the Tiger has serves one purpose. To amp you up, yeah. Which well, is the, I'm not arguing which that is the it equal pumped. purpose of a montage. I'm with Jason on this one. Welcome to the Spitballers oh, podcast. So Would you wrong. rather life advice and a wonderful mock draft on the show today? Follow us on Twitter at Spitballers Pod. Share your questions with us. Uh, you, you know, you might need some life advice. We're here to help. And uh, find us on iTunes. Subscribe. Review the show. Wait, 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 wait. I can't move on from this. Do you? Do you genuinely believe? You actually believe that the Scatman is is a better montage song? You do because yes. I want I want this put so a little uh, a secondary poll peeling the veil back here. I think you mixed an analogy there, but go ahead. That sounds about you, right. You peel an onion, I, you pull the veil back, but go ahead. I'm stretching the veil to the side here, <laughs> and we have a we have a new uh, producer. Yeah, Al in Borland house today. is here. <laughs> Al- <laughs> yes. Al Borland is here. Al, go ahead and say hi to he's, the people. He's not armed. Oh, is he not? Grown? No, he can't That's say That's even better. That's Can you wave better. to the podcasters? There you go. But Al, Al is waving. Mr. Borland uh, is, one, he's going to get video here soon to the, to the product. But, two, you are going to put up a poll because I'm confident that it's going to be at least 80-20. 80-20. Yeah, I agree with you. In my favor. Yeah. Eye of the tiger. Yeah. But- it's the thrill of the fight. Uh, it, it is. <laughs> uh, we are going to get this one started off with a review. We appreciate everybody who's been supporting the show, getting it going. Review a Saurus Rex. You, you were in li- the middle of a sentence. You cut yourself <laughs> off. You cut yourself off. You are the only one that can control that button, and you cut yourself. You're like. I was too eager. <laughs> uh, I had nothing else to say. Well, this one comes in from <laughs> no, Apple pun- Pro- no punctuation when I talk. <laughs> <laughs> this one comes in from Apple Products Reviewer, world's best podcast. The, the this, Apple Products Reviewer. This is a big deal. Uh, world's best podcast, five stars. Says I was looking for something entertaining and found this hilarious podcast. The three dads are Jason, the man who talks before he thinks. <laughs> All right, <laughs> accurate. Andy, the leader and most sensible, and Mike, the chilled out dude. Thanks for solving all my life problems. I'm the I'm chilled out. Yeah, you're the oh yeah, you're the chilled out dude. All right. Now, I will say this today. Wait, you'd rather be the chilled out dude than the angry dude. Oh, for sure. Yeah, or the sensible dude. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty boring. <laughs> 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 I hate that guy. <laughs> I'd cut him off mid sentence. But here's the, here's the best you're part. You're just so sensible. T- yeah. Today, I have a goal. To hurt Mike, because Mike and I and you, Andy, we are in a flag football league where Mike might have just broken his rib. There, there's a cracked rib for sure. <laughs> there's a cracked rib in this man's body, and it hurts to laugh. It does. And so, don't get me wrong, I love you. 
I just want to make you laugh today. You're going to kill me with kindness. Kill you with kindness. This is going to be pain. And it will be your gain. Yeah. Spitballers listeners. All right. We, uh, like I said, we got Would You Rather. We got Life Advice. We got a great draft. By the way, um, producer uh, Jeremy slash Al Borland, uh, wearing his uh, very nice uh, flannel today. Oh, man. I, when you said Al Borland and it, I looked doesn't over. Doesn't it just right? We got to tweet a picture out because it's Al Borland. Yeah. Um, here's that, the that thing. That shirt represents far more than Al Borland. I mean, really? Al but Borland? not far less than. Yeah, not far less. I mean, Brawny, sure. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's Lumberjack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's but, cool, man. But, I like it. But I saw, and Jason, of course, in our draft of theme songs, which he selected Home Improvement, no doubt Jason saw Al Borland first. We, we have, uh, Al has put together a standings for us. He added up all the results of all of the previous drafts. And as of today... Jason and I are tied with the most first place votes. Mike has seven, although it's about to be eight yes. from last week. We all have nine second places, and then Mike has eleven thirds. Jason That's and right. I have eight, eh. and then Jason somehow, when he wins, wins yes. big because yes. he has most the most total percentage point gap uh, between the rest, dominating you guys on total votes, but just tied for the victory in total wins yeah which is all that matters yeah um, yeah th thanks mr electoral college <laughs> <laughs> we know who wins let's go ahead and uh move on would you rather oh this is interesting would you rather relive the same day for 365 consecutive days or just lose a a, a year of your life so this comes down to whether you would enjoy living the same day 365 times versus avoiding that pain and just losing a year of your total life. And now, you wouldn't really know that you're losing a yes, you do. year of your life. Well, sure. Uh, you could tell me, I guarantee you, you lose a year of your life. But I, I don't know any different. Well, yeah. if you tell somebody that they're going to lose a year of their total life. It's ominous. It's ominous. It's kind of like saying, I'm going to take one away. Or you could have that year. You just got to live the same day 365 times. Do I age or is this full Groundhog Day Full rules? Groundhog. So wait, you gain a year? Then it, based on what you're saying, then you yes. would gain a year oh, of life. Then no. Then no, you, I would say you age equivalent. So every day you're one day older. Yeah. Just like today. So can I put on weight in this time? No. No, you probably can't. Well, sure now you can. you're, you're going through. I understand why. Can I you put, need all the rules. I don't understand why. Why, why would that matter if you can put on weight? Well, you're, yeah, I guess. Well, if I can't, if if I'm aging, you have to be able to put on weight. Why? Because that that means that your body is moving forward through time. Well, good news, guys. I'm aging because <laughs> I, I am able to put on weight. two days per day. Yes. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's let's step back from the weight question. What are some of the neg negatives of living the same day 365 times? Just boredom. Because you're doing the same thing every single day. Well, I mean, you don't. I mean, you obviously can vary. Uh, there'd be variation in what you choose to do, but you're going to have the same interactions, right? The, yeah. The people you see at work. It's not are probably great, gonna, Bob. Yeah, they're going to say the same thing. Groundhog Day. Um, there's been a lot of movies like this. I but think I've, there's a Netflix show right now called Russian Doll where yes, she, there is. Where she like dies every single day and, oh, yes. and wakes up and lives the next day. That's a bad day to relive. Well, she dies in different fashions. So Oh, oh well, then totally cool. <laughs> in that case, I guess that's awesome. That would be ominous. That would, if you wake be, up in the morning and you know your day ends with your death. Oh, that, oh man. You can't even escape. <laughs> no. Uh, I've seen the ending of Groundhog Day. He made strides. He learns how to play the piano. He he saves the small town. He makes everyone cheerful and brings delight. Here's the thing: to the world S stuff. Some of that stuff you can do no matter what. You can learn to play the piano. People have learned to play the piano before <laughs> without repeating without the day. Having to repeat the day over. Uh, and but over. now you have time, right? But we're saying you don't gain an extra year off your normal timeline. But I say, are you, you telling me you, if you knew you had 365 days? A weekend, you'd be like, what can I do in this time to be effective? Or yes. would you just play around? Well, there would be plenty of time for playing. The, the playing around would be the first thing you do. 
But then I would look for self-improvement. And what I mean by you have time is <laughs> you have no consequences. Right. Go ahead. Get, a, get arrested. Right. Well, what do I'm whatever saying. you want. I would want. slap oh. each of my friends on every separate day. Just make a <laughs> new enemy every day? day. One friend a day. Right when I see them. How's your day going? Slap. That would be an interesting science uh, report. Like, how does this friend react to me oh, just slapping them in the face? You, you really know. get to learn. Yeah, you, you're going to learn about, your, about friends. your friends. Now, here's the thing. We could still learn about our friends without this. Without <laughs> slapping them <laughs> in yeah. the face? There's just slightly more consequence to the learning experience. 365 attempts to rob a bank and get away with it? Ooh, that's a, so. We're all going with the. I mean, clearly you're going to live the same day over. I'm talking. To, I'm talking about learning the piano. <laughs> this guy's over here robbing banks and slapping well, friends, it's, robbing it's, banks and slapping friends. It's, the it's, sensible it's, one. <laughs> that's, yeah, uh-huh. See, I'm trying to break out of that mold. I just think the experimentation would be fun. It would. It would. Can be you a, die in this environment? You probably can't, right? No, you, you would just no. wake up and live that day over again. So if I'm hypothetically robbing these banks, I need to watch out. I need to make sure I don't get taken out in one of these. No, you're fine, right? I thought you just said I couldn't die. Or I mean, I yes, uh, I did. I meant it in the sense like if I did die, do I wake up the next yes, day? Yes, you wake up. The oh, next day. oh, I'm going. Gra- I feel so like I it can be leap off the rules. Grand Canyon at the like midnight hour. Let's see. You could. That's why I was, it's it's interesting to think about this. If it's not the Groundhog Day rules, like whatever you do to yourself, if you're aging, that means you're able to. You're able to put on weight if you get hurt. If you do something, you get a scar. Yeah, you got a scar tomorrow. You're still hurt tomorrow. Well, you wouldn't. Inst- I don't think it would instantly turn into a scar. Oh, I'm sure. saying it's just you're healing the the same amount. So in my world where you're doing this, no, you cannot rob a bank, have a horrific ending to the the robbery, and then wake up the next day because you the ramifications of what happens to your physical body yes. remain, and, but just your body. So you're so, put in jail. And you're beat up. When you wake up the next morning, you wake up in your bed. Yes. Beat up. And your wife goes, what happened? <laughs> so if this is one of those days, hypothetically, that maybe you throw the diet out the window and you repeat that 365, it's, it ain't good. No, so, I, I can tell you exactly that, what it's like. <laughs> it's just like today. It's L-I-V-I-N. It's just living. Some, you just look in the mirror and you go, man. I've lived the that, same that's food up day for 365 days. Yes. I will go with that one, though. I, yeah. I feel like, yes, it might get bored, but you know there's an end coming. And it, it, I I know that there will be times where it's terrible, but there will be times where you, you can experiment and do things you can never do the rest of your life, a la slap friends. I got to go with the 365 days. You're never going to beat an RPG again, Jason. <sighs> not that year. I'm not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all the games that you're playing, you yeah, can't your save, save them. Your saved is reverted. All right. Oh, um, that's a nightmare. Would you rather be able to hear what someone says about you one minute after they hang up the phone or be able to see every text someone wanted to send to you but delete it instead? Oh. Have we all had that? I mean, we've I all had the ask, text. Like, do people really do that? I've seen the, the animated GIFs where it's the back and forth of the text message where someone writes in what they really want to say, then they delete it, and then they say something else in a yeah i've done that movie. you have oh certainly i I've definitely only, i've only done that in the the framework of there's just oh there's a better way for me to word this not in i'm gonna say something horrifically mean and then i stop myself yeah i've done that one <laughs> I've, done, <laughs> I've, done, I've done the like i just do you boom. do that as a like a, you know when you're gonna delete it but it's cathartic yes, for it's, you you're uh, like 100%. go suck an egg it's cathartic uh, uh, what yeah, if you I'll, hit I'll, send by mistake? Well, that's a risk. You're, I'm willing to take. You're willing to take that risk? I am willing to take that risk. Uh, you what, know. Are you, what are you writing <sighs> in your mess in this in this safe for work environment of this podcast? What types of things are you writing in there to release? You know, it's just simple stuff. I hate you. <laughs> um, you're an ugly fat man. Oh, and, oh you're you know. so mean. Well, but I don't send that. And then I delete and I say, okay. How many times you have people? Okay. How many times have people done that on Facebook? With the oh. old Facebook debates. Yeah, that's that happens a lot. Yes. Or, or or you see the Facebook debate, but every post has the edited mark next to it because everybody wrote something. They like, oh no, that's a little over the line. 
Well, of course, on Facebook, they don't generally say that. Right. But then they edit it, and you know, what did they edit? What did they edit out? See, the difference here in deciding whether you want to hear what someone says about you one minute after they get off the phone versus what they were going to text you but deleted is that one is meant for you, and one is not was never meant for you. Like, if someone's t- wanting to say something directly to you but then deletes it, that that is something where, you know, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn about – I'm going to learn about what they really want to say to me, not about me, hmm. right? Because okay. let's say they hang up the phone, yeah. and then they go talk to someone else about me. That's more gossipy. That Exactly. That ref- you know, they're – pushing that on someone else i want neither of these things no these are terrible well here's the thing that people need to realize about life you don't we don't always go with the first impulse and it doesn't make you a bad person to have that first impulse if you correct mentally that bad reaction right we all have the like insensitive remark that we think of yes so sometimes when we go you know sometimes we take that back yeah, that's and a, we realize it's wrong. And that's human decency. Yeah. yeah. Very good, sensible. Good but for us. We did it. The the awkward one is when you send the text to the wrong person oh. that was meant for somebody else. Oh, oh that no. is. Or the group text situation. Oh, man. When you send the wrong text to the wrong person, that is a un, uh, unmitigated disaster. What, is there a story here? I have a story. There are oh. so many stories. How, what? But I've got a story similar, but I want to hear Jason's because his is probably juicy. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if I can say oh, it. Oh no! Oh, man. That bad? It was. It was. It was worst case scenario. Um. So all right, I guess Are you I gonna got, put I'm in gonna some ha- pseudonyms. I'm gonna have to. Yes, uh, I'm gonna have to share this. <laughs> the story. names have been changed. Billy to Bob the Thornton. Yes, names have been changed to protect. Billy uh, Bob I- identities. That's so let, what we go to. Let, you, you don't use him in all your for all your pseudonyms. Let me. Um, I'll just I'll just say this hypothetical situation. Yeah, uh, you right? heard a this friend had this. This is just a hypothetical situation. situation that could happen. Let's say there's a group of. <clears throat> There's a group of parents, and okay, there's a, a I can relate so far. And there's 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 a a kid who's let's just say the worst. Um, let's just say the worst. And one parent is wanting to say that that kid is the worst. Oh no! To another parent, but instead sends that text to the group, including the- including the parent of the. <laughs> oh, how do you come back from oh, this oh no wait so in, okay i will i will say this i will say this it was uh, so the, your friend we, were, we this 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 happened but this was this was we i'm so happy that this was not us on the wrongdoing side we were just in the you were group just part of the group we were just, we were just part of the group we were just witnessed to the massacre of how do you walk so, that back? Okay. So I want to I want to make sure I'm on the same page. You are you or are, are in a group text, and someone in this group text wants to message their spouse and say, "Oh man, our neighbor's kid is the worst," or That's another something mom, another like mom, that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, or or dad, or and and and, and they sent it to the group to the group. And so, and did then, your phone just ignite on fire? So it, it wasn't me. Wham, I was, wham, I, I was wham. there. But this is I horrifying. Was, I was right next to the person who received this group text and realized what someone else had accidentally done. And both me and that person wanted to climb under the bed. I mean, you would have. I would have turned inside hole. out. Yeah, I'm telling you, it was the. It it's was the even, most. It was. I've never. I've never. No. Had to hide and laugh at the same time more in my life. I would have loved it if all the other people not involved. It was just left the conversation. Left the conversation. <laughs> left the conversation. Left the conversation. Left the conversation. Oh yeah. So that's awful. Have you interacted with with the uh, the culprit? Yeah. I mean, this, this? this. Yeah. This was this was a while back. What was the outcome? And it got it. It amazingly got walked back. Um and all was all was okay, but that was one of those where it's like, oh my did, goodness, how do you come did back? Did they from follow this? up with like, Bobo is the worst? Is something I would say if I were <laughs> telling a, a complete a hole? <laughs> uh, I I have how a do you that's terrible. 
Oh, yeah, that's yeah. tough. Look, that's, and they can claim they have returned, but that parent is not forgotten. No, no. No. Never forget. Then again, they're the one that raised that terrible kid. It's, it's <laughs> their fault. <laughs> this is really on you. They <laughs> needed to know. This was... So uh, I, I have a, a story, too, where I, as a teenager, you know, as an emotional teenager, I wrote a very scathing email once and uh, sent it, and it was critical of somebody, mm-hmm. very, very critical, very, very unfair, very, very, very unfair, and I had the instant moment after I sent it, or near instant I mean, probably right when I sent it, I was like, yeah, take that. But like a minute later, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> and I proceeded to spend the next two hours hacking that person's email account. Oh. So I could then go in and delete the email before they read it. What happened to unsending an email? Is that possible? It's possible for like five seconds now on Gmail. You can click undo. But because it doesn't actually send, like you click send and then right. in the background, it's holding it for five seconds or 10 seconds. This was AOL days. This was like, I got to get in there before they re- and this person never knew it existed. Wow. What? How did you get in? Uh, I had my ways. I had my ways. I want to know what your ways are. This is well, why I'm look, asking the he, question. He knew his mom's password. And so he logged in. And deleted. Oh. It may or may not have been a family member. Oh, man. And I may or may not have been aware of the technological requirements to access the account. Wow. Yeah, yeah I'm not proud of it. But, yeah. Well, that's what we're, we're here to do. We're giving advice for the, for the young well, I, generation the thing is, of what is not like to do. Disclosing it is the first time anybody would have ever heard that. Mm. Because oh. this thing never existed in, in the realm of, look, take a, we're going to take a gander at the statue. The statue of limitations yes. says that you the <laughs> tablet safe. says that you're allowed to let this person know. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, would you rather be able to hear what someone says about you one minute after they hang up? Um, I don't want to hear either because I don't want Yeah, I don't want to know. I mean, if it happens, I mean it does happen, right? Yeah. All these things happen. You're just telling me do I want to be sadder in my not, life? Not necessarily. The way that I look at this is I'm going to take whichever one is more likely to result in I love you. Meaning, you the latter. Then <clears throat> I'm taking the latter one because then I, I'm seeing their true thoughts, and then maybe I can fix because a problem that I have. That's the message that sometimes people are afraid to share, and they want to say, but right. they think maybe, maybe they don't want to hear it yet. You know, you're you're in that that phase of like, oh, I love them. No, I can't tell them yet. I want to know. So, w- so you think that that's more likely that it's uh, the text that's typed but then deleted? I think so because they I'm were trying they one. were trying to say something directly to me. So I'll take that one. Okay. Yeah. Have you th- this conversation may go nowhere but have you been butt called? Yes. And then doesn't hang up, they don't know. They don't well no, you but then someone butt calls you. you but they're talking about you. Has Whoa. that ever happened? Not, have you had not, that happen? No, not to me. Oh uh, no, that's uh I just I've heard stories and you guys have have great stories today. Yeah, so I, well, I don't we have were, any of the butt calls right. where How about Bo- Al? Al Borland, has that ever happened to you? Yeah. Uh, He's He's not, no, not no, no, all right, no. That He's, only happens in the movies, apparently. Spitballers to the rescue. All right, some life advice time. Tim from time. the website. Not, not Tim the tool man, close friend of Al Borland, but Tim from the website. It's time to help Tim. I need help. Well, yeah, we're here. When I get off work, my wife wants me to call her on my way home. Okay. We have a three-month-old baby, and the wife doesn't get a lot of adult human conversation. As soon as I get home, I will be on baby duty until we lay him down. How do I reclaim those 20 minutes to recover mentally from work while not hurting my wife's Mm. feelings? That (sighs) is a great conundrum of the working spouse because obviously staying at home with a child is, is a lot of work. And obviously, a day's work at the office can be very hard. And both people need decompression. Yep. Um, so what do you think here? How do I? How, well, do, how I was, does he do this? I was so close to wanting to jump down Tim's throat and be like, like Miss, like Miss Frizzle. Yeah. Shrink down and I, I was just imagining climb body down in there. Body and wars or whatever. Biological examination. But then I really get do get them viruses. But I get it. I get it. Sometimes you're just. Yeah, if, if your day was hard, us. you know. The other show's back. Miss Frizzle? 
No, there's the new Magic School Bus. Is Miss Frizzle apart? They, it's it's a different teacher, or they just like hipped her up. I can't. That's, rem- that, that's stupid. <laughs> I never, I I never watched that show. Yeah. Right, sorry, barely Dave. know of it. You're you uh, when we well, interrupted want, you, yeah, you were diving like, inside the mouth of a human. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, you know, but when you have a stressful day, you do need a little decompression. And if you're going right home to baby time, mm-hmm. then you, that twenty minute it's window, a culture shock. Yeah, you, is your is your time to breathe? So what I recommend here is make that twenty minute phone call. Like right now, clearly that twenty minute phone call is not is not decompressing for Tim. Yeah. Right? Yep. So you gotta find something fun to chat about. You gotta send her a scathing email. <laughs> Good idea. Good start. <laughs> Good start. Set right before you leave. Before you leave work, send the scathing email. Then when you get home, log into her computer, <laughs> delete it. On the drive home, that phone call can be all about what her electronic usage has been I'm like. just picturing Andy in all black being lowered from the ceiling like Mission Impossible 1. To delete the email? Grabbing the Knox list. Yeah, I... Catching your beads of sweat before they hit the ground. Yeah, sometimes you do stuff that's stupid. And so, when you can undo it, you should undo it. Uh, this has, I think this is... A, you got to meet in the middle because it's, it is. It's a very tough thing. Being the person at home with the kids, I understand... Uh, I've only had to do it, you know, a few times because it, it's really, really hard. It's a nightmare, <laughs> and you immediately want to jump out of that role. You got a twenty-minute drive, Tim. This one's easy. Ten-minute phone call. Ten-minute phone call. After you get you get to drive ten minutes, then you give a ten-minute phone call. Or alternatively, take the forty-minute route. I was going to say, <laughs> m- move a little further. Move a little further away. And <laughs> now it's a, your entire life. Now it's a 40-minute drive. You know, there was uh, there was a time, and my wife is extremely gracious. And uh, There was a time that she was extremely <laughs> gracious. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that time is long uh, gone. <laughs> but there was a time when, like, it was, I had an hour-plus drive. And here's the thing that people don't realize. And they've done Harvard studies on this. The, uh, you guys know what cortisol is, right? That's yeah. the stress hormone yeah. in your body. They've correlated cortisol levels in the body with the length and duration of a commute, okay? So just the act of driving in bumper-to-bumper, freeway traffic, getting home, what would happen to me is I would have an hour-plus drive home from work. I would leave in a good mood. I would get home right when this, when she wants the conversation and me to take over and help with the kids. I would get home at the peak cortisol stress levels. So it was not a good moment for the family. Because I would get in and I didn't want to deal with anything because I had an hour plus of stress of, you know, you know what it's like to drive yeah. in a, a terrible I do commute. because I did the exact same drive. Yeah, because we worked together. So you understand that. Yeah, it was awful. So for a while when it was like the peak stress level, she she gave me permission to like have a little me time for the first like 10 minutes I got home. Just don't deal with anything. Go decompress in the room or even stop. if she If I wanted to, I could stop at a coffee shop on the way home for 10 minutes. Mm, just yeah, add to, some caffeine into just that cortisol. Just to decompress a little bit. And so she was extremely gracious with that. But that came from communicating slash her seeing me get home and realize it wasn't working. That so, came from Andy being a monster. Um, back when she was gracious, of course. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's been a while. Now she literally slingshots the kids at me when I walk in the door. They're okay. all set up in a slingshot and let's go. And she runs out the back gate. Well, now, see, that's the problem. That's pro move. Now our jobs are so nice and fun and we're close to home. And, you know, we come like my wife tells me this all the time. She's like, you're not allowed to say you had a hard day. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to. You could say. So she's post gracious days, too. Yeah, oh, they're long gone. No, she, my, my wife is great. But she's like, you know, we've got a cousin, Chris. He's a police officer. She's like, he has hard days. He has yes. legitimate like you can't come home and say I had a hard day. You could say like I had a longer day or like whatever. But like you can't I, use that language anymore. No, you can't. Be, and it's fair, right? We're 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 podcasters and entrepreneurs and fantasy football analysts and um, I think a it's lot pr- of butt time. A lot, a lot of butt time. Yeah. So um, yeah, maybe maybe that's what you do, Tim. Be you, a 
be a podcaster? I was going to say, be a (laughs) podcaster, find the most chill, easy job in the world, do that, and then when you come home, you're you're putting your hands together, and you're getting to work with your three-year-old and your wife. You come home, and now, you know, you're the hero of Kavach. A pod... What? That is a... Is that a phrase from a movie? That is a... I'm going to leave that out there for all my... Okay. All the Twitter people who know... Who the hero of Kavach is. So, a podcast about whale sounds. Like, that's what that guy should do. Because it's very calming? Yeah. Can you imagine how chill that guy would be? Just sitting around. I'm guessing both chill and broke. <laughs> yeah, not, not, a lot be exceptionally of, broke. not a lot of uh, economic. Do you monetize whale sound pods? <laughs> yeah. Someone's got to do it. I just imagine a whale podcast. It's an hour long. And right in the middle. Two ad reads. <laughs> yes, it's like, just, have you been sleeping well? <laughs> have you been speak- sleeping whale? <laughs> oh, sleeping whale. Oh, so many whale puns. <laughs> oh, have a whaley good day, no, everybody. No. Did you enjoy those dulcet towns of the blue whale? Uh, try the purple mattress. Um, all right. Recently, here's a new question from the website. Recently, I was given a g- <laughs> This is amazing. I was given a gift card for my birthday. When I went to use it at the store, they said it only had a one dollar and seventy seven <laughs> cent balance. Yes, making me think it was used. Yeah, he. It better be used. Oh, I hope it's not. What do I do? How do I confront the person who gave it to me? Um, is confronting that person worth uh, eighteen dollars and twenty three cents? The question. No, is, it ain't. You I, never I, speak of it again. I got to know the level of friend. Yes, because if this was your friend, you've been you you got got. Oh All right. my gosh. This is amazing. Like and, on purpose? Yeah. I, like they said, could I put a dollar seventy seven on this card? This is giving me too many ideas of how how funny would that be? Oh, it's so good. It is if you give like we we just did teacher gifts. You know? I mean oh, we're not good hit, enough wait, friends, you're gonna, but you're gonna hit the teacher with the dollar seventy <laughs> seven they're already okay. underpaid. They are underpaid and that would be very rude. So maybe not the teacher, but I'm just thinking like <laughs> it would be so fun to give someone a dollar seventy seven gift card to Starbucks. Like treat yourself. Go out and, and no. what you're doing is oh, no, you're making them <laughs> buy coffee. No, no, no. You're 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 letting people off way too easy with the Starbucks. It's gotta be like sharper image. It's got to be Brookstone. A, it's got to be Brook. It's got to be a store where you are set to buy something that is expensive. But, but do you lot do you do you write like a hundred dollars on the back of the gift card? <laughs> oh, in, in Sharpie that's and say, funny. There you go, and then they get it, and it's like there's a dollar. You, you don't have to write anything on it. Oh, it's at the steakhouse. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's a, that's, that's what I mean. It's a hundred dollars to a steakhouse. The steakhouse so there's a dollar seventy seven on it. Worse, that one's better because you are done. There. You've eaten the food. <laughs> yes, that's, that's the setup. That's the way to do it. Because at Brookstone, you can go. Oh, you know what? I, I don't really want that. I'll be back. And then you just leave and never come back. But oh, that is eaten too the food. good. A dollar seventy seven to Ruth's Chris, <laughs> and oh you write a hundred dollars on the back of it. Look, you are a hundred percent stuck buying that steak dinner. If you have someone that you don't love in your life, if you have an enemy, if you have an arch rival, somebody sent you a text on accident, and you want to pay him back, and you want to kill him with kindness, but not really. You are the bigger man. You take the high road, the better woman, and you give them a gift card for a hundred dollars to a steakhouse. to a steakhouse and say, "Hey, Go this one's on yourself. me. Sorry, we've been." You know, in this little tiff, let's uh, let's move forward. Oh my! I want to treat you. I want to oh hear you, goodness. Jason, try to explain to the waiter what's going on, like as a way to get out of paying that bill. Yeah, that would be. That so would listen, be a this is supposed to have a hundred dollars on it. I'm sorry, sir. This has one dollar and seventy seven cents. That would be. Are your dishwashers working <laughs> today? Uh, that is too funny. I've always heard it would be uh, it would be entertaining to buy, like you know, let's say you want to get somebody fifty dollars at Target. Get like twenty or thirty cards and put small random amounts on it, and just make it annoying. To I legitimately uh, for our footballers' Christmas party, I was going to do that. I was at the store. We oh, were, you were going to put like twenty dollars worth of. I was. We were at Walmart, and I'm like, well, this is. We were doing a, a white elephant, and I thought, what would be better than getting a dollar gift card to just like ten different places? Yeah, just, that's. Oh, that's funny. That'll be so irritating. Ten different spots, because you don't want to throw out a dollar. 
But you'd really love to throw out all those gift cards. Yes, you would. But it, they had minimum. You had to like yeah. put ten dollars oh, at least. But there's got to be somewhere where you can. Yeah, load. the internet's got that. It would be so. I'm just putting that out there. That would be a fantastic. So white the answer gift. to this question is: How do you how do you deal with this friend? Is you get them a great gift. You get them a hundred dollars to a steakhouse. Yes. You get them a hundred dollars to a steakhouse. Wink. And if there's a minimum purchase, you know, if there's like, oh, it, you, you we only sell minimum of fifty dollars, then, then you, you get the fifty dollar gift card. You, you buy forty nine dollars worth of food. Yep, exactly right. And then you uh, you say, hey, uh, in fact, what you do is you 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 do a f- a favor, uh, or you have them do you a favor first. And yeah. then as a reward, hey, can you for watch that the favor, kids this afternoon? As a reward for that favor, you get them that gift. Is card. it is your gift card you give to them? Is it a dollar seventy eight or dollar seventy six? It's got to be the same. I want it to be a dollar. If they gave you a dollar seventy seven, I'm giving back. I'm going dollar seventy eight. Well, you're even kinder. Yeah, yeah, I'm a you're better such person. a sweetheart. All right, Waldorf from the website. <laughs> Waldorf? I haven't met any Waldorfs. Do you Waldorf, know any Waldorfs worldwide? It, it's been a while. Isn't that a hotel? The Waldorf, I, th- I believe so. It's what also is the Waldorf historian, or there's a good Charlotte song. Isn't that an animal too that lives, you know, with the big tusks? Yeah, well, in uh, coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, a Waldorf. Oh my goodness, Waldorf wow. Astoria. Oh my goodness, hey I said guys, Waldorf historian. <laughs> yeah, uh, hey guys, I have a predicament at work. Says Waldorf. <laughs> Sounds like a children's book. I say I've, I found Where, him many times. Yeah, where's Waldorf? <laughs> I share an office wall. That book would be bad because it would be a walrus, and it's just right in the middle of the page. Every page you turn, well, there's the Waldorf. There's, well, there's Waldorf. Why? It's so easy to find among all these people on the page. Uh, find the walrus. Um, I'm sorry, Waldorf. Waldorf Your name is totally Walrus. fine. No, you're, it's, it's a beautiful name. You're a beautiful person. <laughs> I found you. I share an office with somebody. Uh, I'm sorry, with someone who finds it necessary to sing along to the radio quite loudly. I find it hard to concentrate when it happens because it is so bad, but also so funny. How should I deal with this troublesome tenor without being rude? Ouch. I I have answers for this person. I got but- I got it. Easy, perfect solution, but you can go ahead. Well, it's ironic because I was just talking to Al Borland earlier today, or actually yesterday, and he was mentioning that in uh, in his day to day job, he shares a. It's like a co working Lumber, lumberjacking, space. yeah, lumberjacking. Um, he he shares a co a co working space kind mm-hmm. of, and there's another person there, and it's very obvious. Like it's you make a sound, the other person hears it, but this person sings show tunes at the lo- at the top of their lungs. Wait, is this true, Al? Yeah, you got a you got a show to top of their lung. Wait, no, what? Which? Uh, what's his go to? What? 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 Uh, what musical are we talking about over we'll here? We'll relay it to the spit. spit yeah, yeah, we'll push it over. Disney songs. Disney songs. Oh, okay. Songs. All right, some Disney songs. Hit him with a little frozen. I can show you the world. Oh yeah, is he pumped for a new blue genie? <clears throat> Apparently, um, people are real mad about that. <laughs> well, here, here, here's the thing. I know exactly what to do in this situation. If you're if, I would start a new Instagram account, and it would be about this person, and every day I would make a contribution. Because if it's funny enough, if these songs are funny enough... Are you secretly recording? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. I believe that's an invasion of privacy. Well, they've invaded my privacy with these that's, bad tunes. That that's fair. True. That's, that's fair. 100% true. I, I guess it would be... Hey, look, if I'm holding the phone over the, over the uh, divider... And watching this person sing Mariah Carey or something, maybe that's bad. But I would follow an Instagram account where I get to tune into the next bad song every day. It would do all right. Mike, what's your solution here? Noise-canceling headphones. Oh, so yours is just practical. Yes. This is the those life might, advice Those segments. are probably not – what if they're not permitted at your, at your job? You answer the phone or you, mm. you interact. That's yeah. it. Do you sing with them? A di- or do you uh, sing a no. different yeah. song you, as loud as you can? You sing answer. the harmony. You, you get in there, man. <laughs> well, Don't but be afraid. I would totally agree with you. You beatbox to whatever I, they're doing. I would... <laughs> <laughs> Having a rony. <laughs> what? what uh, uh, but the problem is, it said it's so bad. Yeah. Like, they're, they're, they're off key. And so you can't really harmonize with this person. I think you just need to battle. I think you need to bring in your own radio, put it to something else, 
and just drown them out. One dollar and seventy-seven cent gift card to voice lessons. What I'll say? What if you get him voice lessons? What if you be a, a good yeah? Friend? That's what people want. I bad my bad painter friends. I get them painting lessons. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> That would because actually be very that, kind of you, Andy. Yeah, it would be it, kind of me. It, look, it accomplishes. Look, you could use these. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. It accomplishes. I'm giving my wife cooking things. lessons. That's going to go over real well. Either this person improves <laughs> or they get the message that yeah. that they're singing very loudly. Captain Confrontation over there. It's super. Well, it's not confrontation. It's super passive aggressive. Fair enough. Fair Classic enough. Classic Midwest. Jason, any other advice or shall we move on to our... Draft. Just outdo them. Just uh, it's, this is the, a new competition called the Voice Two, shining, and, uh, shimmering. <laughs> take it to the next level. Splendid. The Spitballers Draft. All right, this draft suggestion comes in from Ryan on Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram. The address: Instagram.com/slash/SpitballersPod. Share your thoughts with us. Share your draft ideas. We are always listening. That's why. We tapped your phones. Uh, the perfect <laughs> dinner. We're doing a perfect dinner draft. And so four rounds, you must include a main dish, a side dish, a dessert, and a beverage. You can mm. draft them in any order. So this is a little different, a little mm -hmm, special. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think Jason has the opening pick today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm very curious where he goes in terms of... Uh, There's one that I will be shocked if he doesn't take it. I am almost positive I know his first pick as well. I can't imagine him giving it up. So here's um, here's the problem. I've been thinking about the strategy here. I've I've written down the actual best meal. I've I've got that on my paper. What should be the 101 in all four categories here? And I'm trying to think, okay, let's say I lose out on that one. What would I pivot to? And so while my 101, I know what you guys think it's going to be. I think there's other ways to pivot. Mm. on that item, whereas there's there's basically two items I have to have, a must-have. But in honor of me wearing a shirt right. that right now says, it says, you have accidentally given me the food my food eats. That's right. Shout out to Ron Swanson <laughs> out there. Shout out, Ron. What's up? Um, Thanks for shout listening. Shout out to Hypothetical. I'm going to take character. I'm going to take the filet mignon. Yeah, I know. That's uh, because exactly it's, what it's I knew the, you would take. I mean, if you're, you're so, talking about a great you're meal, so basic, Jason. Watch your mouth. Now you you're famous for putting like basically covering it in A1, right? Oh god, what? A1 well, or or ketchup. No, or ketchup. Is, no, don't you there's a lot of things that I am okay with you guys putting <laughs> on me. I can be a buffoon. A1 sauce. I can put be, it on me. You can put A1 sauce on me. On don't my you body. dare touch my steak. No, this steak is charred on the outside, medium rare. It is covered in butter. If you want to put some sauce, some nice bernays, but it is a perfect Ooh, ten yeah. ounce I'll take the filet mignon. So that is your main. Mm. <laughs> that's his side. Uh, <laughs> no, that's, that's and that is that is my dessert. No, that is my entree. Um, and I win. I win the draft. So you have filet mignon as your main course. That's what you took one on one. You went main course to start it off. Uh, I guess it's my pick then, right? It is. Man, I have no idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is tough because I, uh, man, you got to, we got to go side dish. You got to go dessert. You got to go beverage. Um, you know, I, I'm going to go with an interesting main dish and, uh, probably going to fill out a little theme to my meal. Okay. Cereal. I'm going barbecue ribs. Okay. I'm going barbecue ribs. All right. Barbecue sauce. I mean, that's great. Now I don't have to take a main dish till my last pick. I appreciate that's it. I was actually surprised. true. That's I a was mistake. surprised he went entree because I've mistake. already taken one. He he could have grabbed the first in another category. Yeah, he chose. I could have. Um, but but like I'm I setting said, the table for, for later. So go I, ahead, Mike. I have no idea what so I'm you doing. Took, you took ribs. I'm taking barbecue ribs. A full rack. A full rack of barbecue sure. ribs. That's my uh, That's my main. That's my Rack answer. of ribs. I've got the filet. Yeah, I'm... I'm getting them right down. You got the filet mignon. I knew that you would go there. Mm, so Although, uh, what are we man. doing for lunch today, fellas? Oh, I need some need some meat in my life, man. All, All right, right, Mike. He mutters you are up. thrice he, daily. Mike is tilting over here, and he's got two picks. Let's put him on the let's put him on the clock here. Let's go. Mike. Yeah. So with my first pick, well, because it's a Nutrigrain bar. How did you know I was going to do that? Yeah. Yeah. It's look. I just I. I 
I don't know what to do that the people will, will want to vote for. Hey, you got to go with, you know. What's your perfect meal? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to start it off with the dessert. And I'm just, I'm going to take, I call Jason basic, but I will live in that world as well. I'm going to take a perfect chocolate cake. Oh, that's going to be a popular pick. That yeah. will be popular. It's it's it's. There's not very many people that don't like a good chocolate cake. I'm not a big like. I don't like chocolate ice cream, so therefore chocolate shakes. So there's you, plenty. I, of cho- I just don't understand how you can not like it. Like it. Can, how do you not like chocolate ice cream? I know that you can't. It might not be there's, a preference. You like vanilla. There, I love vanilla ice cream. No, I. Uh, I, I love lo- vanilla cake. See, I, I, if it were up to me, I'd always choose vanilla vanilla cake. I would choose vanilla cake over chocolate cake. But my point is, I still like a chocolate yeah. cake. It's it's good. But yeah. it, but you're right. It is basic. Yes. All right, Mike's it got chocolate is. cake. He's got his dessert figured out. Now, do you eat your dessert first, Mike? No, I'm not Jason okay. Moore. All right. Uh, he eats it first and last. Yes, um, he does. Mike, <laughs> Bookends. you've got a second pick. Your dessert is off the table. You've got a beverage, a side, or a main dish that you can select. Well, I'm not going to go with the main dish because that would be foolish for strategy. That's true. This even, is, this even is though what you're the, talking about. Even though like the side dish, the only one that I can think of, that I really want to take, I don't think either of you will take. But I'm going to do it anyways because <laughs> I'm tilting, man. I'm tilting hard over here. Uh, it's my favorite side. I love an excellent side Caesar salad. All right, okay. you're going side Caesar. Side I'm going with Caesar. a side Caesar. That's great. Um, <laughs> that's great. That's great. Look, well, there I, are I, things I, that I know that Jason will select. That's my problem. I have a pick right now. Mike has the cake and the Caesar salad. Um, it, look, I've got the barbecue ribs. Here's I've only got one pick, and Jason's got two it, picks, it, and it, I know it, he's in, he's fine. Here's the thing, Andy. If you make this pick wrong, I am going to dominate this draft so hard because I I know my next two picks, and it's just it's not even going to be fair. I've got a real um, I See, got a real problem. I, everything's up to you, Andy. I know, I know, and I have to do it. I have to try to just say. I realized Don't last draft I made a mistake not taking cherry coke, so I had a Pepsi and a Coke. Yeah, because I would have won that draft. I'm not making the same mistake. I'm taking mashed potatoes. No, no! come on! If My I let, needs those mashed potatoes. I know, potatoes. and they're mine. Oh, that's like I knew that. That I'm, was. I'm happy you went with that because it upset him so yes. much. But it's crazy to me that you would. Oh, you th- you believe that for a steak, mashed potatoes is the best side? Oh, with no, well, a garlic mashed potato or a butter, you know, a, a, a asparagus. Oh, you 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 think that I'm having one side here? You're crazy. I've got. Well, you're only having one in this draft. It's a primary sure, side. But now he has to pivot. Now he has to put his steak with something other than mashed potatoes. Yeah. that's the thing I'm excited about. Now my problem is I want something else to slip through. Oh man. man. Okay, so uh, Andy has taken my mashed potatoes. I had to. I had to disable him. If we have a shot, Mike, he can't have filet mignon and mashed potatoes. Uh, honestly, ribs and mashed potatoes is a is a great start oh, for delicious. the boats. And, yeah. and had you picked literally anything else, I could have, I could have punted my dessert. I could have <laughs> taken a cup of bleach for dessert, and I'd win the draft. Where there's original. Yeah, I, um, I, and I, and honestly, I'm I'm tilting here because I I had beforehand I had written down my perfect meal. And, of course, it had mashed potatoes on it. And I had a pivot. I had a pivot from the side dish. And it was a side Caesar. I did it. No. I did it, everybody. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to – I'm not going to – similar strategy to you, Mike. I, I've got two picks here. I don't need to take my side now because mashed potatoes and side Caesar have been selected by you guys. Oh, get basic, Jason. So I'm going to start – I'm going to start with my, my beverage. Okay. I've got a filet – a nice red meat, and I'm mm-hmm. going to pair it. He's going to tie a, his tie tight. <laughs> I'm going to tie it tight. I'm going to pair it with a beautiful glass of red wine. Okay. This is a grown-up meal. You have a very, is, yeah, you have a very grown-up meal over there. Man, if I could have had the mashed potatoes with this, it's over. Um, so now I'm looking at desserts, and I go, well, do I go votes? Or do I go with what the heart wants? Because... You know, you've got you've got the classics, right? You got cheesecake, which that's polarizing. A lot of people love it, but a lot of people hate it. I'm right in the middle. I I'm fine with a good. I'm pretty much fine with all desserts. Yes, you are. Uh, bread pudding, which bread it, pudding. Bre- <laughs> yes, we went on a trip where I ate a lot of bread pudding, and there. And became, that's how you ordered it. 
Yes, and that that became the moniker of the trip was just bread pudding. Um, the problem with that, from a voting standpoint, is people is that don't it's know called what it, bread pudding. One hundred percent. It's just a marketing issue. Whoever invented the name bread pudding was an idiot. It is nothing. Like, where did they come up with this name? Pudding is not. It's a cake. It's a bread cake. It's delicious, but it's a cake because a cake is bread. It's so a cake cake. It's a cake cake. <laughs> sure, but do they? I mean, did you take chocolate pudding? No. No, you took a chocolate cake. Yes. But what if they called it chocolate pudding? You would expect something else. <laughs> um, I, you know, when I hear bread pudding, I expect tapioca. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, there's bread in is, my pudding. Is there a worse word? In, like, I, I know there is. <laughs> is there but, a worse but, word? But one of one of the words that I just hate tapioca. Is, is tapioca. It sounds disgusting. Well, part of the reason, part <laughs> of the reason, absolutely you, disgusting. Part of the reason you, that you hate the word is because. It's associated with the product. I don't which even know is what it disgusting. is. It's bread in your pudding, it, but Ugh. but shaved, shredded. It's it's, it's in like, the middle of sewer pipes. Um, imagine, tapioca. Imagine they all clean the, the tapioca out of the sewer <laughs> yes, pipes. They yes, do. they do. It is it is awful. So I've got all sorts of options I could go with, but because some are going to give me votes, some aren't. I'm going to go with my favorite dessert. Just period. I'm going. This is me. This is me time. I'm going with my absolute favorite. The best pie that's out there. Yeah, I know it's what he's not, doing. You know what I'm taking because yeah. you know it's my favorite. It's not the vote getter, but it is the best. It's banana cream pie. It mm. is. He's crafting his exact perfect meal. Yeah, right this now. is this is me time, fellas. <laughs> this is. So you went with you have a flame and yawn, you have a red wine, and you have banana cream pie. You still need a side with your last pick. I have barbecue ribs and mashed potatoes. I'm not going to select my dessert because you guys both have one. So that move. means I need to go with my beverage. And you know what? Look, I'm theming up this meal. I want to enjoy it. I've got barbecue ribs and mashed potatoes. I'm going with soda. Okay. I'm drinking soda. Soda water. No, sir. Soda pop. Okay. So what would you order? Because I don't think you can just order, I'd like a soda, please. Um, I'm saying a refreshing soda of your choice. Whatever washes down this fine barbecue food. So you can draft a genre. I draft cake. I think soda. I, whatever cake you'd like. No, no I, I think, you. I, it's a category soda, of like whether yeah. somebody picks a Coke or they pick a Pepsi. You're getting a, you're getting He's a soda pop. Soft I'm taking drinks. a soft drink. Yeah. Okay. All right. Which, hey, if Michael allow it, I'm gonna I get will, on board. I will allow it because I am a, a man of the people. I think that's a fair thing to do. It also really sucks for me because I was gonna grab a a nice soda. Yeah. There you go. For my meal yeah. as well. So now, and it, I don't. I just, we just did the soda draft. I don't want him to take Coke. And then I'm like, okay, oh, give me Pepsi. All right, that's fine. Yeah, and if you want yours to be, I a, feel like I already know. If what you your want drink yours to be. be a glass of wine instead of red wine, Jay, you're welcome to do that. Okay. You don't know what my drink is going to be because I don't know what my main dish is going to be. So There's, now Mike has gone dessert side, and he needs a main and he needs a beverage, and he's got two picks right now, and he don't know what he's doing. Well, no, I have two options here for my main dish. There's the one that I want to take, but it's just it's it's in such a similar world to your guy's main dish that I don't think it stands out enough. I know what you want. Yeah, of course, that's that's what I want. So, and by what I want to do is I want to get a bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, I figured you'd go cheeseburger. But I'm not. Okay. Really? I got to stand out. I got I to do a full goofy movie. Uh, sword, and I'm gonna, he's going to get a swordfish. Stand out above the crowd. Okay, I'm excited. And I at least know that our, our guy Brooks is going to vote for me. Because <gasps> I'm taking... A pizza. Oh man. Okay. I'm taking All right. pizza. That's um is it is that's it, a tough one. That's, that's interesting. It's gonna be polarizing. We'll see if I get two percent or I mean, a lot. Hey, I'll a lot be honest. Of people love pizza. I thought about it, I dismissed it as an option here. Yeah, because it's not like uh you don't usually get a pizza for your meal. Like you get pizza with pizza. Not, you don't normally get a pizza. Course. Here's the yeah. thing. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't normally get a pizza and then have a side and a beverage and a dessert like all together. Normally, you get a pizza, you just get a pizza. A lot of times, you're not getting sides. That's why I was... Yeah, the, the sides is You don't the hard think part. of it as part of a four-course meal. Although I do. When I go down to the... Well, Gio you do. Yeah. When I go to the Giordano's... Well, that, see, Chicago-style deep dish, you might as well get your fork and knife out. That's good stuff. So I don't I don't blame you for it. That's a good pick. That's a that to be a poll winner. Man. Now I'm for so... The, and I, it goes well with the Caesar, I, honestly. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with with my lineup so far. I am f furious about the mashed potatoes. 
I am so I had I knew I knew I had to take furious it. about them because I look at my options. I already know what I'm going to take because you guys have your side dish and I know it's not my turn yet. But I'm just I look at what I could have done in the polls and what Andy's team is becoming and I I've got a chance to win here, but I like to dominate or else I don't want to win. Right. Oh, I'm so angry. Yeah. Uh, I've got another pick here. Uh, unfortunately, Andy took the soda, which is honestly that's what I would do. So would you be washing down that chocolate that's, cake, that's the how, Caesar, the pizza? That's how I would be doing it. I feel like you've got a pretty regular go-to drink when you're not on keto. Mm, I do, but I feel like there's a drink that will get me more votes. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Are yeah, you talking about Arnold Palmer? Yes, I, I yeah. assumed you'd take an Arnold Palmer. You love them, people love them. I do, I do love them, but I'm taking craft beer. Oh, oh you oh suck. My goodness. <laughs> oh, oh, you my suck. Oh, my goodness. What, what there is, a schlub. I am building to an avatar. So what's your, just out of curiosity, because I've been wondering this for a while, what's your favorite craft beer, Mike? <laughs> Uh, if will, you could pick all of all of your faves, I don't know if it's, it's considered hard to, a crap, but I'll say fat tire. All right, so dang it, he had an answer. I maybe I don't know if, if that's craft or not. I don't even know what. When's the last that, time I saw Mike? Does drink that a beer? mean that craft forever makes ago? It, like the macaroni and cheese? Yes. Yeah, craft, it's with a K. Craft with a K. Yeah, craft <laughs> makes fat tire. Okay. All right, so I obviously have just one pick left. I have my main, my side, my beverage. I need a dessert. Uh, it's between two of my favorite things. I mean, honestly, dessert's one of my favorite things in the world. I love ice cream. I love cookies. I love tiramisu. I think that's one of the best desserts ever. I'm actually going to go with a milkshake. Wow. What an idiot. Not because milkshakes <laughs> are bad, but because you have a much more favorite dessert that is better and yeah, you literally ice cream. said it. It's no, ice cream. no. Tiramisu? No. You said, I like ice cream. I cookies. like cookies. Yeah. And you didn't take the pizookie. You didn't oh, take. Oh, man. You didn't you, take sir. the cookie. Cake baked soft f with ice cream on top. I will top. do anything. To, I will, to, oh, I won't allow it. I oh, will not no. allow you to pivot. When that milkshake came out of your mouth, I was so happy to put that wooden steak through your vampire heart. You have no idea for taking my mashed potatoes. Now, I, I That's will. That's legitimately my favorite dessert on this earth, oh, and it just yeah. slipped my mind. I was looking at and your And I team. set them together. I literally said, I love ice cream. Yeah. I love cookies. <laughs> I thought and you I were going there. And I didn't put them together. I was so Worried about your team with Pazuki in there. Oh, I, let me write a, down milkshake. See, that's the problem in a draft like this when you know that you're going to get to draft a dessert and not compete with anybody else. I didn't start thinking. Well, that's the problem for me is I didn't know I was going to end up with pizza because clearly the Pazuki makes mo the most sense on my team. Oh, right. I'm such an idiot. I still oh. like however, cake, however, milkshakes are delicious. All right, they are my, great. Jason... Uh, now you've got a main, a beverage, and a dessert. Now you need a side. Yeah. Out of mashed potato. Oh, you can't get mashed potato. No, I I know. <laughs> well, now let's talk I trade a, here. I, <laughs> I put a steak through your heart. <laughs> yes, you did. That, that's why I was happy to put the steak through your heart. Was simply because you had done it. You you've ruined you've ruined my meal. Because <laughs> even though I'm going to be happy with what I take, and it was my pivot. It's a great side. It's probably the most popular side in all it's of America. Probably the side that I would have taken. The most organically, common side. but right, and you should have. But I did. We should switch these because, truth be told, no. What I'm about to pick goes better with ribs. What 100%. you pick goes better with steak. Hundred percent. And while mine is the most popular side in the world, you don't usually in think the of world? it in the world, at least in America. That's a bold choice. I'm well, going to write it down before he says it because I know what it is. It doesn't usually go with steak, but I'll still take it. I'm going to get the fries. Yeah. Oh, okay. it, uh, never mind, Jason. There is a fry. Named after yeah the steak fries yeah Ste <laughs> yeah I don't know if that means that it, they normally go with together it just uh, means it's as yes, delicious it as a steak so I actually no. wrote down I thought he was gonna take mac and cheese oh that's I I knew he was gonna take fries or but then you were talking about ribs so I thought maybe you meant coleslaw but the steak fry I believe one hundred percent is was served with steak great hey this is great news people now do you base that on its name I. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's yeah. probably right. No, well, I mean, he didn't take steak fries because I was actually going to launch into it. Jason doesn't even like steak fries. He likes thin little he's an idiot little <laughs> potato free fries. He likes he likes the peel of the potato. Strings. Give me Disgusting. more of the unhealthy, crunchy, crispy fried goodness and less of the innards of your potato. All right, Jason, read your team. Your I have dish. a filet mignon 
with some fries on the side, a glass of wine, and a banana cream pie. Not too bad. I've got a full rack of barbecue ribs with some mashed potatoes on the side. Washing it down with a soft drink, a soda, and a milkshake is my dessert. It brings and it all the boys the, to the yard. It comes with an extra, you know, it comes in the, the beautiful glass, but it also has the the metal tin on the side, so I can I can double dip. Fair. And I had to scratch and claw my way back to the top, so I've got pizza, Caesar salad, chocolate cake, and craft beer. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, there there it is. There's our meal draft. You guys can vote on Twitter at Spitballers Pod. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the show. What did you guys learn today? Did you learn learned, anything? Oh, I learned that revenge is a dish best served with a do- <laughs> $1.77 gift card. Yes, I learned I am aging twice as fast as most people because I put on a lot of weight on a regular basis. I learned that at least one of Jason's friend's kids <laughs> is a horrible Ooh, little yes. person. Thank you for tuning in to the Spitballers Podcast. Please tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone on the block. And make sure you subscribe. Just hit yes. the subscribe it's button. It's free. It's 100% free. And if you enjoy fantasy football, check out the Fantasy Footballers Podcast. See you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the Spitballers Podcast. To see what other nonsense the guys are up to, check out spitballerspod.com. Spitballers Pod.